Shopify tutorial for beginners. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can set up a Shopify store in 11 minutes. Now, if you're brand new to this channel, my name is Lindsay, and on this channel, I share with you ways that you can actually earn income from home. Now, if that type of topic interests you, make sure you go underneath this video, hit that subscribe button, also hit that notification bell, so that way you can get more updates when I do videos like this onto YouTube. So let's go ahead, let's dive into the content, and let's go ahead and set up you a Shopify store. Okay, so right now we're looking at Shopify.com, and if you haven't already, make sure you go underneath this video, hit that link so that way you can get your free trial to Shopify, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the button where it says start free trial. Now we want to go ahead and enter our information here. So we want to enter <clears throat> an email address here. You want to enter a password that you're going to use. So this is going to be your login information for your store. So make sure you write this down. And then for the store name, all you want to do at this point right here is just include some information. You can always log into your back office and change your store name to what is going to be officially and what you're going to actually start to market market with. But right now, you just want to put something here. You want to click on create your store. Now, why is doing this right here? It's going to ask us a series of questions, and this is kind of just like for their their information, pretty much for Shopify's information. You don't have to put the exact right answer in these questions or anything like that. They're just trying to get some basic information about their users, okay? So right here, it's going to ask you, are you already selling? We're just going to say, I'm not selling products yet. Do you have something to sell? You could say, no, I'm playing around with Shopify. Or you could say, like, I'm brainstorming ideas. What is your current, current revenue? It's zero dollars. And what industry will we be operating in? We're just going to put other for right now. And then we want to click next. Now here you want to go ahead and put in some information here. And we click on enter my store. Now that it's loading up, it's going to now take us to the back office of Shopify, okay? So again, make sure you have your login details written down because you're going to have to use your email address, your store name, and your password in, or, in order to log into Shopify. Now that we're here, we see the back office, and then whenever you are ready to go ahead and make your store live, you'll just come over here and you'll click on select a plan. And as you can see back here, there are a few tabs back here, right? So we see all these tabs here that says orders products, customers, analytics, marketing, and things like that. All of these things are going to come in handy when we have our store actually launched. But right now, we're only going to focus on setting up our store. So in this video, I'm going to share with you quickly how you can set up your store by one, going through the settings tab, and then two, the online store. So right now, we're going to click on settings. And as you can see here, you're going to have a different, a variety of different tabs that you can go through in order to set up your store. So if you go through the general tab right here, this is gonna ask you general, general information about your store. So this is where you can come back here, you can change out the actual store name here. You wanna include the legal business name of your business. Again, you can just put the store right here because later on, once you start getting sales to your um, store, what you wanna do is you wanna apply for an LLC. Come back here and you wanna make sure you update that information. But right now, you can just fill out this information right now and you can be done with it, okay? Now the next tab, that you're going to see is payments okay so if you come and click on this tab here it's going to ask you you know how you want to be paid out okay so what typically most people do is definitely Shopify payments so you just click on this button here where you want to complete your account setup and then also you have the option with PayPal okay the reason why people have PayPal option in their store is because they are a trusted brand. A lot of people like to pay things through PayPal. And then also with PayPal, they offer the autofill service pretty much, right? So somebody doesn't have to whip out their credit card every single time they can make a purchase. They can just log into their PayPal account and their information and their card information will already be there. And it actually makes the process at checkout a lot smoother. Lot now, the next tab that you want to cover is um, we're going to go here to shipping and delivery. So here you want to make sure that you go ahead and go through, set up your shipping, okay? This is very, very important. 
go through each of these steps and go ahead and, sh and set up your shipping. Now, I'm going to skip through some of these tabs because right now you don't need all these tabs in order to go ahead and make your store um, working for you, okay? You just need to focus on some of these tabs and then again, once your store is live, you can always come back here and start going through some of these tabs. Um, you can also have go through the taxes app here. We can skip locations. We can skip notifications right now. We can also skip gift cards, files, and sales channels, okay? What you definitely want to come into is you can view your plan right here. So what you want to do is when you click on plan and permissions, this is where you can also upgrade your account, right? This is where you can go ahead and start with the lowest plan once you're ready to get your store live. You can start with the lowest plan here. And then again, once you start generating consistent sales inside of your business, what do you want to do is you want to upgrade to the next level because you're going to get more information, more analytics and everything else like that for your store. But just starting off right now, you can start with the lowest plan in order to go ahead and get started with Shopify. Um, also here, you can um, check out your billing information. You can just go there and uh, like I said, once your store is live, you can come here. This is where you can update your billing information. If you want to change your card information and things like that as far as like where Shopify will actually charge you every single month in order to have your store, you will come underneath this tab right here where it says billing and you'll take care of that, okay? So for the most part, those are the only tabs that you really need to focus on when you are starting your store. Okay, so now the next option that we're going to look at is online store. So we're going to click on this tab here and you can see here, this is where we're going to actually update our store. So right here, we have our current theme right here, which is debut, which is a popular theme inside of Shopify. And if you don't want to use this particular theme, what you can do here is where it says free themes, you can click on the tab where it says explore free themes. Now they have a variety of ones that you can choose. Some of the popular ones are simple. Also debut, which is our current theme, supply, and also Brooklyn, okay? So we're just going to stick with the debut option for this particular video. Now that we're here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and customize this store. Now, um, as you can see here, it says the store is um, password protected. The only way you can actually disable the um, pass password for the store is once you upgrade and get... Um, actually a paid trial with Shopify okay so once you create this store even if you send people to your store they will not be able to see it pretty much unless you give them a password okay in order to make your store active you must go ahead and get the um, paid plan with Shopify so that way you can remove the password and then like I said anybody that visits your store can actually see it okay so we're gonna click on customize and as this loads up we're going to see the basic template for this particular theme okay so if there's anything on here that you don't want to add to your theme right now all you have to do is just come over here where all the different tabs are and let's say for feature collection we don't want to use this tab what we can do is we'll find it over here feature collection we click on the eye icon and now it's removed from our store and if we ever want to add it back all we just do is just hit on the eye icon again okay so one of the first things that you definitely want to make sure that you do is that you change out this picture right here that you want to make sure that you have a picture that stands out for your store your banner so we're going to click over here where it says image with text overlay click on it again and you have the option to select the image from your computer or you can click where it says explore free themes and these are royalty free images from Shopify that you can actually use to help build up your store so let's go ahead and click on select image And I'm going to upload an image. I'm going to upload this image here. Okay, so now we have this image. Next thing I want to do is click on select. And what I want to do here is I just want to change out the heading. And then this text right here, you can remove this as, as well. And now we have that set. And as you go along, make sure you save your work as well, okay? So now that we have that done, the next thing we want to do is what I want to do is I want to change out this image here. So this image right here, it can actually feature a product from your store. Or you, let's say like you're having a sale in your store, you can actually use it as a marketing image, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this image here. 
And then again, you can explore the free images that come with Shopify, or you can go ahead and select the image from your computer. Okay, let's choose this image here. You want to click select and then you can come here and just change up your information here so you got summer sale summer sale save save now or something like that and then you can change out the information here you can put whatever it is on sale in your store or whatever it is and again also you can fe feature a product in your store here so let's say like it's a product that you really think that people um, will be interested in right so you can include an image of that particular product here let people know a little bit put a small description about the product here and how much it costs okay but that's all you want to do you want to make sure that you go through each of these tabs and you want to go ahead and set um, set up your store if you come up here to theme settings you can come here you can change out the colors of your store and everything else as well here so now I have it as blue so now it matches with the store okay so those are the only things that you really need to do in order to set up your store guys okay so in this video, I quickly share with you how you can actually set up your Shopify store within minutes, okay? So the next things that you want to do is you want to go underneath this video if you haven't already, click on that link, get your free trial of Shopify, go through the video, set everything up, and then once you have your store set up, the next things you need to figure out is actually what type of products you want to sell in your store. So hopefully you find this video helpful, and I'll see you guys on the next one.